Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a very exciting update to my whole collection project. Um, this is actually the last update because I will have a finale in December, hopefully. <laughs> and then I'll start over in the new year. Although I don't know if I'm gonna do this project because I don't know, I feel like it took me too long to rotate. But then again, today I am rolling out 11 products. So maybe it was good. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. I might do like a plan to pan for 2024 video. I've seen other people do that. That might help me get more organized for the new year. But anyway, let's just get into it because it's gonna be probably long. <laughs> since I have 11 products to tell you about. So normally in these updates, I actually start with the products I'm rolling out and then I just quickly tell you what is still in the project. So um, the way it worked is that at the beginning of the year, I rolled in 23 products for 2023. And then I decided like, which ones I would try to use up, which ones I would just have use goal. Um, yeah, and then I've just been doing updates. And it's a um, like a roulette style project pen, so I use my Tiny Decisions app to roll in the products I don't have. I? Well, it's kind of a mix of choosing them randomly, but also some products I chose more specifically for certain reasons. I hope that, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like my rules are too specific and even I have a hard time explaining them. But anyway, the first product I'm rolling out is a blush. It's my Denise Myrick's Golden Hour. I love this blush. Um, well, the shade is Golden Hour, I always forget the full name of these, but it's in the Yummy Skin line, so it's like these kind of products, you know, um, in the pot. And I love the color of this, and at first I was worried like this would only be a summer color for me, but I feel like once it's blended out, it's kind of just like a nice warm coral. So it goes pretty much with everything, I feel. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can see my makeup with <laughs> these glasses on. Um, but yeah, so I only had a five use goal on this, so it wasn't that hard, but I am working on a lot of blush, so. But I've reached my goal, and well, today is the fifth time, so that's why I'm rolling it out. Um, before filming today, I'm filming a lot of updates. I gathered like all the products that I only had like one use left and it ended up being quite a lot and that, so that's why I have 11 things to roll out but a lot of them I'm wearing today. So that's one of them. So that can go away. Well, that can be put back in my collection. The next two products are what I was using for my brows and I'm kind of glad I'm rolling these out because one of these is breaking me out in my eyebrows. I don't know which one it is. So the first thing is my NYX Lift and Snatch. I I don't think it's this because I've used this before putting it in this project and I didn't notice the issue. But I actually had a 10 use goal on this and I reached my goal. I have 10 times, 10 uses, but it's probably been more than that because I use this almost every time I do my makeup, unless I'm just doing very basic like mascara, lip gloss, and then this clear brow gel, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, I mentioned before, so before I colored my hair, I felt, well, you can see my natural color. It's grown out and you can see my grades. <laughs> I've come back, so I have to redo it. But see how like dark my natural hair color is? So every other like brow product for brown hair that I've used was always making my eyebrows look orange because it was too warm. So when I got this, which is in the shade Ash Brown, yeah, I was like finally a cool tone brow product for brunettes. So I loved this. But now <laughs> that I colored my hair, this can look 
too like stark on me because my hair like the highlights that I got are very warm so now I kind of like my old stuff so anyway I'm rolling this out I still like it I do have to be careful with this because sometimes it leaks it's a liquid pen if you didn't know um, one of these things sometimes there's a big droplet of product on here and it's happened where it leaked <laughs> onto my eyebrow but it's quite easy to clean it up like it's not like you know a thick goop or anything it's a very fluid thing so I could just like comb it out with a spoolie but yeah that's happened so actually I don't like to use I don't like to store this face down which normally I would for like liquid eyeliners and things for this I have to keep it on its side so yeah anyway that's gonna be put away um, and then what I use with it actually I put this on first and then I put that on this is the rose ink what is this called again um, I think it just called an eyebrow gel I guess did I write anything else? No, I wrote brow gel. So this is the clear one. I think there's different shades. And I love the brush on this because it's big. And that's what I want in a brow brush, I feel. Or at least one that has like longer bristles. I just feel like that helps me lift the brow. And yeah, I think this is breaking me out if it's not the NYX Lift and Snatch, or maybe it's the combination of the two. I don't even know, maybe you could see, like I have a lot of breakouts in my eyebrows, which I don't normally. So yeah, I guess it, it could be this, but that's unfortunate because I do like it. It's not a very strong hold gel. So if you're really like looking for a lamination effect, it's not gonna be this. Um, so actually like one time I put this on and then I put like a tight shirt over my head and it, my brows just went like flat. So yeah, it's not a strong hold at all, but it, if you don't touch it, I mean, I'm wearing it right now, it does stay in place. So I like it. And what I also like about this is it's not shiny. It has like a matte finish. So yeah, anyway, I've reached my goal on this. I've definitely used it over 10 times, but I just stopped counting because I knew I was going to roll it out. Um, next thing is a concealer. It's my Maybelline Age Rewind. I also reached my goal on this, which was 10 uses. And actually, I haven't rolled it up, I think, since putting it in this project. Like, there's just so much product in this sponge, which is probably not very hygienic but I just keep using the sponge and I only use this under my eyes really I think a few times I've worn it on the face but it's really an under eye concealer because this is actually the eraser dark circles version so it's meant to be like kind of color correcting so yeah um, I do like this as well. I've noticed if I put too much of this on, it can start to crease. So just a thin layer is really good. But that's how I apply concealer anyway. When I even remember to wear it, which I don't think I did today. <laughs> nope. I just put um, my Tatcha tinted eye cream on. So yeah. Anyway, that's being rolled out. I still have all this product because, like I said, I haven't had to turn it. Um, oh, the next thing is another concealer, which I reached my goal on. So the reason I could reach, you know, two concealer goals is because this was just under eye. And then this, I realized I can use as foundation, which I've done today. So this is my Rose Ink uh, Concealer. I don't know, the names on her products are just very basic, like eyebrow gel, concealer. So I don't, I don't remember what the actual name of this is. But I have mentioned before, I thought about decluttering this um, because the shade, it's LX040. 
it's very yellow on me um so under the eye it looks terrible i've tried i've worn in videos and then in editing i was like that does not <laughs> go under your eye um but i noticed that if i use it as um kind of like a spot concealer slash when i say foundation like i'm not putting it all over i'm putting it in like really specific areas like this i'll just dot and then i blend it with with this sephora pro airbrush detail number 57 and it kind of helps to disperse the pigment and kind of make it match my skin more <laughs> so i actually have found a use for this and i like it like that because it has like a good coverage but it also blends out well like it's not too thick so it works in that way so i think i'm actually keeping this sorry to my mom if you're watching i think i said i was gonna give this to her but now i've kind of been liking using it in that way so we'll see um but yeah the packaging sucks i mean it's beautiful but it does that thing that the Makeup Forever concealer does because it has that chunky wand that just pushes all the product back up. So all the product is in the cap and it squishes down every time and I have to clean it up. So I do not like that. But anyway, I'm rolling this out. <laughs> oh, that was a long story. This product has been in since the beginning because for some reason I thought I could use this 20 times, was it? Yeah, I've used it six times. And like I said in another video, that's because when I do eyeshadow, I roll for my eyeshadow palette because I'm working on so many. And it just happened that I didn't roll this one very often. So yeah, I've only used it six times, but it is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in my collection because it's just so easy to use and like every day. And I love the undertones of the browns specifically for like my crease shade, they work very well. And I can even use this pink as a blush and this as a highlighter, so yeah. You'd think I would have used it 20 times, but I, I don't like to mix and match when I'm doing an eyeshadow look. So if I roll for like another palette, that's the palette I'm using. I'm not going to go into this one for like the crease and then back into the other one. You know what I mean? So yeah, anyway, I'm keeping this in. Oh, I said I was only, I was only supposed to tell you about the products I'm rolling out. Yes, I forgot. So this one is not being rolled out. Um, let's go back to the products I'm rolling out. This Temp2 Liquid Glow Boxy Charm collab thing, which is super old. I actually like this. Um, it's meant, I think this product is meant to be used in a, like a, one of those airbrush things. Um, but you can use it with your fingers it's one of these things um i actually use it was i using it with a brush i think so with like a small stipple brush and yeah i only had a 5 use goal on this which is how it's being rolled out because i don't often reach for liquid highlighters but yeah i didn't have a trouble using this five times so i had actually already put that away because it was in my shop my stash container and it was taking up room so i that was already gone so for me <laughs> that's been done a while um the next thing i just had my last use on today my milk supernova holographic stick uh, so yeah i am wearing this today i think it's really pretty and it's not like it's called the holographic stick and when you look at it you would think like oh that's like very purpley and you might not want to use it every day but it kind of blends out to like just a nice cool tone highlighter and it just works so i have been liking this 
I also have another milk um, stick, but in like their, you know, traditional shade, a mini one in my shop, my stash, and I like that one also. So with these, I also, I don't put them directly on the face. I use a stipple brush and I just go directly on this and then I blend it out on the face. So yeah, but anyway, this can go back. This is more like summery to me anyway, so that's good. Um, another highlighter I also am wearing today. <laughs> So that holographic stick is not a highlighter. I would always put like down the center of my nose. So for that, I used this one today. Um, this one actually had 10 use goal, right? Yeah, so I reached my goal today. The MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I found this at Winners. And I was very excited because it was like brand new not touched and I knew this was like a popular shade so that's why I bought it and I do like this a lot it's just a nice everyday kind of highlighter I used it also for my inner corner today I don't know if you can see that on camera but it works for that too so it's just pressed extremely hard like considering I've used this over 10 times because I've used it before having it in this project. I mean, it barely looks like I touched it. So yeah, this is not probably like something if you're doing like a deck of panning, maybe roll in um, a MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish if you get like the Joker or something. Anyway, that's being put away. Um, then a lip gloss. I finally reached my 10 uses on this Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. I am wearing it today um, and I love it. It looks like it'd be very bright in the tube, but it's quite sheer. Um, I really loved the loved because they're not around anymore. The Marc Jacobs lip glosses. I heard that they were coming back, but that was like a while ago and I haven't heard anything since. So I don't know what's up with that. Not like this specific product, but Marc Jacobs Beauty in general is supposedly coming back. I don't know. I hope so because I love the lip products and the bronzer. Um, the highlighter was pretty good, the liquid one. So yeah, they were not a bad brand. Anyway, this can be put away, which is good because this is like my summer lip gloss. So. Yeah, I don't need to see that anymore. <laughs> um, another lip gloss I had already put away because it was in my Shot My Stash container. Um, the Lethal Cosmetics Nova lip gloss. I had never used this before rolling this in and it became like one of my favorite lip glosses in my collection. It's very, it's more like a lip oil than a lip gloss I feel. But I love the shade of it too. It's just a very nice nude shade. It goes with like every lip liner that I have. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I use this even more than 10 times, but like I said, because it was taking up a slot in my shop my stash lip slots, <laughs> I put it away. So yeah, that's done. And those were my two lip glosses. And I'm rolling out a powder which is fun. This is my KVD Locket. Okay, I feel like I'm so low, <laughs> but it's because my chair is broken, I think. I need a new one. It, it's like slowly going down <laughs> for no reason. Anyway, my KVD Locket setting powder. I used this really only right here, and today was the 10th use, um, and I like it because once it's on, you can't see it, which is good for me because I have dry skin, if you didn't know. So I don't love using powder to begin with, but I can use it in that sense and it just helps to like smooth a little because this is an area where my pores are more visible, I guess, if you're really being nitpicky. Um, but yeah, 
that's the way I found to use these powders. And I do like these minis because my little powder brush fits in the cap nicely. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rolling this one out today. So yeah, I have a lot of things to replace. Um, let's quickly go over what's staying in my Freck Beauty Cheek Slime. Six out of ten uses on this. My Pat McGrath Labs Cosmic Coral. Um, is that what it's called? What? This one. Divine Blush. Yeah, Divine Blush Duo and Cosmic Coral. This here, I have two out of five uses on that. I already talked about the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms. Oh, then I have another palette in this project, the ColourPop Harry Potter. Um, I've only used this twice. Is that true? Okay, I guess so. Two out of five uses on this. So that's staying. Um, my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. This is a product I'm pretty sure I'm decluttering at the end of the year no matter what. But I do have a use up goal on this so clearly it's still in here. I've only used it six times and it's pretty much like half full. It still smells like it always did and it looks like it always has so I don't know. I'm gonna feel pretty guilty decluttering this so I'm gonna try. I say this every update but I'll try to use this some more. I actually don't hate it either, like considering it's a foundation. Not that I hate foundation, but I don't often reach for foundations. I'm more like a tinted moisturizer kind of person. But anyway, yes. Oh, speaking of tinted moisturizers or BB cream, um, my Pure Lease BB cream, I've used seven of 10 times. I like this product, but I've noticed, I don't know if it was mixing well with my Milani setting spray, which was in my deck of panning because it's a very oil-based setting spray and it was like melting this off. That or this is just very emollient. So it kind of like settles into my fine lines if I put too much. Um, but I do like this because it has SPF 40. So, and this is a product, like I said in the beginning, some products I try to pick with a purpose and this was one of them because it expires um, next year in April, I think. April or July, I don't know the dates, what format they're in, but yeah, the SPF will expire next year so I'm trying to get as much use on this as I can. Um, I also, I don't know if the shade is the best for me. I feel like it makes me look a little dull because it's, um, you know those like Asian brands that have that gray undertone? It's kind of like that. But since it is a BB cream, it's not that noticeable. So it's still wearable. I just, something I've noticed. Anyway, I'm not supposed to be reviewing the products that are staying in. Oh, two fragrances. Yes, can you believe these are still here considering they're samples? The Lancome Idal. I am supposed to use this up. Look at this. It's up to here. I've used this 27 times. And that's what it looks like. I don't know, like, do, do people wear, like, a lot of perfume? And I just don't know because I put like a few dots of this on and everyone around me can smell it for like the whole day and they ask me oh what's that perfume or Josh says you I don't like that <laughs> so I don't know how I've only used that much of it anyway and then this is a perfume I'm wearing today I love it uh, Toka is that how you say it? T-O-C-C-A, Julieta. I've used this seven <laughs> of 10 times. 
And that's how much. I spray this twice on one wrist and then I do this and that's how I wear perfume. So maybe that explains something. But this is a very nice, like, very fresh, but um, there's something like fruity, like apple-y about it. I don't know what the notes are, but that's how it comes across to me. Anyway, really like this one. I only have 10 new skull on this. <laughs> it's a sample. So I'm not going to finish that because I only have three more uses. Anyway. Um, where am I? Hard Candy Rose Gold. This is a highlighter that's staying in. I really like this one. I have five more uses to go because it's a 10 use goal. Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 01. I only have a 5 use goal on this. I've used it once because it's red. Anyway, I won't go into that. I... This video is getting long already. <laughs> uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect. Okay, this is a powder that I've never used. I think the seal is still on it. Yeah, still, still has a seal on it. This has long been discontinued. I just never got around to it. But since I rolled out the KVD one, this will be the powder that I work on. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how often I use it, if I even like it, because I feel like this is, yeah, a mattifying setting powder, which kind of scares me, considering I have dry skin. And it's the translucent peach whisper shade. I think there's only one shade. Anyway, that doesn't exist anymore. And then the last thing, which will probably, yeah, this will definitely be rolled out next, well, in the finale, the VDL uh, Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. I've used this 8 of 10 times, so definitely this will be um, rolled out in the finale. Um, I like this. I'm wearing it today. Sometimes I just wear this and concealer, and it just gives like a nice natural glow. So, yeah. I mentioned before, this is expired, so... It's been in other projects, which is why it's like, you know, there's a good dent in it, but still, it's quite full. Anyway, that is everything. So, I'm going to replace... Oh, because I didn't say in the beginning. Um, I replace the products that I roll out, so that I always have 23 products that I'm working on. I feel like there was something else that... Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> I can only have two products in the same category at the same time. So I've, um, so for brows, let's say, these were my two brow products, so I couldn't have rolled in another brow product. This is a bad example because I am rolling out these two, but I think you get it. <laughs> so like I won't have three lip glosses, you know what I mean? Or three or three powders, that kind of thing. So I think I, yeah, so I rolled out all my cream highlighters because cream and powders are separate. I rolled out, yeah, all my concealers, all my brow products, and all my lip glosses. So that opens up more possibilities. So I do this part off camera because it will take forever. If I roll in something that I really don't think works in like winter, then I won't pick that. So I skip some things and you know, it's not very strict in that sense. So I do this part off camera and then I'll come back and show you what my new products are. Okay, I'm back with my 11 <laughs> products. It kind of took me a while to find all this because I haven't done like a you know, makeup collection or anything lately, so I forgot where things were. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in a video, but I did add essential oil to my Tiny Decisions app because I have way too many of them. <laughs> and it's just a way to like get me to use them up, you know? 
So I actually rolled in two. So like I said, I can have two of each category. So I'm at my max on essential oils. The first one I rolled in was vetiver. And I love the smell of vetiver. But this essential oil is so annoying because it's almost like a syrup. So it doesn't come out of the, um, what do you call it? Dropper. Why can't I open this? I also can't open it apparently. <laughs> it's already been used. So anyway, I was trying to open it. But what I have to do is take the dropper out and like be very careful to pour this. But the smell of this is so good that it's like worth it. So anyway, vetiver. And the other one is one of my favorites. It's peace and calming. So this is already like a mixture of essential oils that is just supposed to, you know, be a calming aroma. Let me smell this. Yes, I love this one. So both of these are minis and they have pretty good use on them already. So let's do 10 uses for each of these. I could probably even mix them together. So that's my essential oil thing, which is good because it's good to just not only have makeup in this project because I don't wear makeup every day and it's just a better way to like rotate through all my products, you know? Anyway, yeah, those are my essential oils. Then for my brows, I have been trolling two brow products and from the same collection, so that's good. My Kosas Air Brow in the shade Medium Brown and the pencil that goes with it. I think it's also Medium Brown. Yeah, so that's perfect. And I like this pencil because it has a spoolie on it. So, yes, these two. I don't remember. I think these were already in this project, maybe, <laughs> um, at the beginning. But I'm pretty sure I like them. I can't think of a reason why I wouldn't. So, yeah, those will be my brow products. So, 10 uses on those. I rolled in two lip liners. This one, I think think this is pronounced Jante Blue, this um, brand that you get in like BoxyCharm and Ipsy and stuff. Um, this is the shade Brown Sugar, which should be nice. Um, yeah, just a nice brown lip liner. So there's that. It's a wood pencil. And the other one is from Bite Beauty. They don't make these anymore. Oh, well, Bite is not even brand anymore. You can only go to their like in-store things, I think. Um, but this was the shade 032. And it looks like a nice like pinky nude, I guess. Yeah, a little, you know, deeper. That looks very nice. Both of these could go with multiple different shades of lip products, so Happy to use those. I didn't have any lip liners in projects, so that's good. I, I have two in my shot my stash, but whatever. Um, yeah, two lip liners, one eyeliner. I've never used this before. I didn't even remember I had this, to be honest. It's from KVD. It's the Tattoo Pencil Liner Longwear Gel Eyeliner. But it's actually in the shade Pyrolucite Brown, which is good because I can put it on my waterline. Because you guys might know I don't wear eyeliner on my eyelid unless it's like in a project and I force myself <laughs> to do it. But yeah, this is kind of new, I think, to my collection. I might have gotten it in a BoxyCharm, like a month or two ago okay maybe more because it's a little dry <laughs> but it's like a cool tone brown so yeah that'll be fine it's um one of these it's like a gel eyeliner but you can roll it up and down so that's good 
Then I rolled two setting sprays, which is perfect because I just rolled out the setting spray I was working on in my deck of panning and now I don't have any. Um, so I got this one I've never used before from St. Lux. I got this in a boxy charm. Ipsy, whatever. <laughs> it's ju it just says setting spray, so I know nothing about this. It says our lightweight micro fine setting mist helps your skin to retain moisture and set your makeup with a glowy finish. Maybe I did use this because I remember reading that micro fine setting mist. Maybe I used it in like a new makeup video because this was in my new makeup drawer. Um, but I took it out because it's actually not new. It's, I've had this for forever. It just never got pulled into any project or anything. So yeah, happy to get some use on this one. And I think I'm gonna like this because it of the fine setting mist. It has purslane and hyaluronic acid, which help accelerate the healing of damaged skin and instantly hydrate leaving a dewy finish okay that's good it says shake very well i just want to see the spray okay oh it has like a nice coconutty smell okay um yeah it was a fine mist but it did also seem to come out very fast so i don't know maybe it's just because that was one of the first times I've ever sprayed it, so we'll see. But then I also rolled in the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. I'm pretty sure this was in this project <laughs> before, but that's fine because I need to use my setting sprays. Um, this one, I can see it's down to here, so <laughs> I have a lot of use to go. And I remember liking this. I think I felt like this didn't really do much but i just like the experience of putting it on um because this is if i remember correctly this is like a nice yeah one of those like you know slow release misters i just spray that all over my mirror um but yeah so two setting sprays to you know rotate between um, then I rolled in a bronzer, and I didn't have any bronzers in this project, and I've never used this one. It's from Hanalei. It's the matte bronzer. That's all it says, and it looks like a nice shade, like a nice neutral, if I can open it. A nice neutral bronzer for winter, which is good. And I rolled in... A blush, a powder blush. So I'm at my cap on powder blushes now because I still have the Pat McGrath Cosmic Coral to work on. But this is the ColourPop um, Cat's Eye Pressed Powder Blush from their first Sailor Moon collection. I also have their second Sailor Moon collection still in a box on the floor there because <laughs> I haven't had time to use it. But it has this fun little packaging and this is like a pink shimmery blush which is beautiful I don't have I used this before I think when I use these I try not to use I try not to get into the embossing because I don't want to ruin it but yeah that looks like a nice like pink cool tone pink blush that's very like trendy, I guess. Okay, so that's fun. And that was everything. That's a lot of um, products <laughs> to work on in a month. But yeah, like I said in the beginning, this is just more like a fun project to, you know, get use on my collection. It's not like very strict, like panning type project. And that eyeliner will not come off by the way, so. Yes, it is a long wear eyeliner for sure. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!